Through an unexpected loss in the Big Ten tournament quarterfinals, the University of Maryland women's basketball team wasn't quite sure where they would end up in the NCAA tournament. So when they found out that they had secured a four seed, this entire place went absolutely nuts. Okay, let's get you to your 413. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, we took a couple losses this season, so we kind of got lucky in this year. Look, we're just super blessed to be here. Really happy that, you know, we got the four seed. We get to play at home in front of our fans. So the overall atmosphere is just really excited right now. And the, the number in front of your name really doesn't matter this time of year. You know, it's are you playing your best basketball? And so, you know, for us, it's, uh, you know, lining up. And, you know, this team is really, really talented. And we want to be, you know, playing at, at our best level. My first thought that ran through my mind was just excitement. You know, first we get to host the first couple of games and then in the bracket I feel really good about our games ahead you know but of course we have to focus on one game at a time um, so first up is Delaware and we're going to scout them and get ready as best we can so that on Friday we're the most prepared and we're the be the most ready team. Now, as these ladies are preparing for the start of this year's tournament on Friday, they can't help but think about how last year's tournament ended for them at the hands of six seeded Texas, an upset loss in the Sweet 16. And now as fate would have it, Texas and Maryland are in the same region yet again. Texas with the two seed this year. Katie Benson says that's just fuel for a possible rematch down the road. Reporting from College Park, Maryland, Charlotte McBride, WUSA 9 Sports.